But last time a friend recommended me yeah. this brand, but I yeah. refused to use it. Oh, refuse to use it. Okay, no, I'm because... excited to see what you have to say about all the masks today. Three, two, one. And welcome back to this episode. Yes. Actually, it's been quite a while we have been talking about this. I mean, it's been quite a while since we last talked about this topic. Yes. So Mom. this week, we're going to talk about... <laughs> okay, Dr. Judd's mask. Yes. So I'm not too sure whether if everyone is familiar with Dr. Judd. Mm. Uh, I think I first got to know about Dr. Judd two years ago, three years ago. Uh, your forerunner in this. Yeah. No, no, actually Dr. Judd has been around <laughs> for a while. But last time a friend recommended me yeah. this brand, but I refused yeah. to use it. Oh, refused to use it? Okay, no, I'm because... excited to see what you have to say about all the masks today. Um, before that, I, 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 I didn't have a, a very... No, good is the wrong. I don't have a good understanding of the brand. Okay. Yeah. Be very careful la, about what you're saying because we have a special guest today. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know? Uh, this is honestly my first time trying all the masks yeah. from Dr. Judd. And um, uh, clearly, I have some good stuff to say. I mm. also have some questions on my mind, which yeah. is why it's exciting. Because uh, if you are thinking that, okay, it's just us talking about all the masks. Nope, we've got a special guest with us today. And today we have Chris with us. He is the Education Manager of Dr. Jad. So, Chris, nice to meet all of you. <laughs> yes, I'm so happy to see all of you today. Thank you. And thank you so much for joining us uh, for this episode. I think Yen and I, we've been like, you know, really talking about masks. I think one of our first few episodes, we were reviewing on all the different kinds of masks. And it's been a while. Mm. So, you know, this time around, it's really fun to just focus on one brand. And I think it's amazing that your brand has got like basically a mask for every skin condition. So, um, yeah, so we just get into it and mm. just uh, review our masks and how are we going to go about doing yep. this at the end today? So we have six masks from Dr. Mm. Uh Fiona and I have tried all the six masks yes. and we're going to choose our favourite three. Mm -hmm. And then Chris is going to share a little bit more with us, um, you know, what's so great about that mask, what's the USP and, you know, what type of skin or what type of skin issues you have, then probably you can look out for those masks. Yeah, and the fact that Chris mm. is here, I'm excited to ask some of the very, very new <laughs> questions. Maybe Fiona can share yeah. with us, you know, you have tried all the six mm. masks and, you know, what are your favourite three. Mm. This is my first time, right, trying the mask. Okay, so maybe I put this aside and mm, I'll okay. go straight into the mask yes. that could bring me. Okay, I'm gonna talk about my favourite three. I won't say it's my top three, but I will say it's my favourite. Mm -hmm. So, it will be the first one, Vita Hydra Solution. So this one in the lovely blue. Mm -hmm. And then the other one that I picked is the Clearing Solution with the beautiful like red over here, which happens to be my favorite lip color. And then the last one um, is a perfecting solution. Okay, so these are my top three. Mm. So before I zoom into talking about this, maybe Yen, you want to share with us what's your top three first? Okay. Yeah. So my top three, the very first one is Circa Pair. I think I've talked a lot about Circa Pair. Yeah. Like, forever. Forever, from yeah. serum to whatsoever. Um, the next one is Ceramidin. Mm. which is the yellow color one. Mm. Uh, last but not least is also the uh, protecting solution. Protect. Protecting, protecting solution. solution. Okay, pardon the pun. <laughs> yes. But it's a good pun. <laughs> yeah. We'll tell you why later. Yeah, so these are my top three. Mm. Okay, so Fiona, maybe you share a little bit more. Why yeah. the top three? Okay, mm. I'll do that. I'll start first. And since we have one that's overlapping, let's just leave that for the last, okay? So I'm going to go in with the first one, which is Vita Hydra Solution. Now, in fact, in this whole series over here, right, the six masks, we have two, actually, in my opinion, okay, in my very humble opinion, <laughs> uh, this two are actually quite similar, okay? Hydra Vita Hydra Solution and Soothing Hydra Solution. So when I saw this too, I was like, okay, la, the name itself, it suggests that it's hydration. And you know I'm pretty much a dry queen these days when it comes to my skin. So I want to keep it hydrated so fine lines don't appear. So I tried this too. And I must say that this one really lives up to its name. Um, the skin, it's somewhat like very ready to soak up the solution that's mm. in there. Um, it's not too overpowering that you feel like it's dripping all the time. But it, it kind of stays on your skin really nicely. I'm not sure whether it has got to do with also the way that the mask is sort of being produced. It really fits the, the, the skin also really nicely. So I like this one because it's really hydrating. Uh, I'm just going to very quickly talk about this one because to me it's the same category. But if you are, let's say, having 
I don't know, if you're like outside running about the whole day and you come home and you feel very, very hot, right? At the end of the day, switch on your aircon. I think this is good because it has a little bit of that um, soothing effect. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So um, that for me is the reason why I, I really, really enjoy this two mask. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So is there really a difference between the two? There's actually not a big, big difference, mm-hmm. I would say. But the blue one is really like what you mentioned. Mm-hmm. It's really for hydrating your yeah. skin and it's really help your skin in, the, in terms of moisture level. Mm-hmm. But for the green one, it's more for, you know, people with sensitive skin types slightly so you actually experience a bit of sense of like cooling effect when you put on this particular mask so there's a slight difference in it okay okay Mm. so this one for sensitive skin i suppose this one would be for all skin type right exactly but actually for dr jack mask it's actually suitable for all skin type having to say that it's just that there's a special ingredients that you have in the green color one that actually help to soothe your skin Mm. and that's why the, the name of it is actually called the soothing Hydra um, solution. Yeah. Okay, so that's your number three mask mm-hmm. out of the six. Um, so mine is somewhat in the same range, which is also the hydration range. It is the ceramidin range. Mm. Um, I mean, I tried the other two as well. And I also tried this one. Mm. Okay, to be honest, right, I love this one because I find it's more moisturizing. It's, mm-hmm. you know, it feels more luxurious because of the, the serum inside. So it's like milky white. Oh yeah, um, I remember this mm, being the milky white yeah. one. Yes, but yes, to be yes. honest, uh, to be honest, this one has lesser of the serum. I feel this one has it's super generous. Yeah, it's like yes. super soap. Yeah. Um, this one I feel that because it has slightly less serum, but on the other hand, the texture make up for it. Yeah, yeah. So I like this one because um, to me, I feel that the skin is quite well planned, well mm. nourished after this. Yeah. So maybe Chris share a little bit uh, more with us because there's really a lot of hydrating mask uh, within the Dr. Jack range. Yeah. So out of this three, right, which are all hydration, yeah. um, like why do we have so many hydration okay. masks? Personally, I also like the ceramide mask because this is really suitable for hydration. Mm. It's much, much more compared to the blue one that you actually mentioned earlier. Mm. So if you have really dry, dry skin, you can mm. actually go for this ceramide mask and there's actually a range of skincare products that actually accommodate to this particular mask as well. So it gives you a full skincare regimen. Oh, wow. Know. Okay. Yeah. So I would, I would really encourage for dry skin members to actually go for ceramide mask mm. or the blue one that you want. So uh, for me, for example, usually for ceramide mask, right, I would actually use it like once in a week. Mm. But for the blue one, which is the Vital Hydra Solution, I'll actually use it on a daily basis. Daily? Yeah. Seriously? Actually, all of us need masks on a daily basis. It's just that we need to drink water every day, right? That right. page is Are not you? bad. <laughs> <laughs> this okay. is what I keep saying all the time. Exactly. So we need to drink water every single yeah. day. Similarly to our face, yes. that we need hydration. Mm. But this ceremony is actually like a booster. Ah. If, for example, it's really dry, today you go under the hot sun, you need extra booster. This booster will, is the key one lately. But this, yes, we all yeah, need boosters. This will come in handy. Yeah. Okay, so now we've talked about almost all the hydration masks mm. within the range. Mm. Uh, Fiona, what is your second favourite mask then? I won't call that my second favourite mask, but I will say this is a very, very unexpected choice mm. um, for this particular episode. And I think it's that season of my life, uh, which is also very rare because I seldom get breakouts, mm. I will say. Partly also because, you know, no longer that young, so you don't really get breakouts. Mm-hmm. So I suppose I'm very stressed lately. But nonetheless, I had a... Oddly, a very huge pimple on my forehead. So I was looking through all the masks, right? And this was the last few masks that I was going to try. So I looked at it, I was like, okay, la, clearing, right? The word says clearing solution. And I was like, okay, la, I pray very hard. Okay, I use this. Uh, then the pimple will go away. I was praying very, very hard. So when I used this, I noticed that um, this is definitely not as hydrating because it's not a hydrating mask. So when I put this on, I didn't have to put for like 20 minutes, like almost like 10 minutes into using the mask, mm-hmm. I could almost feel like hey, it's pretty much done already. Mm-hmm. You know you know how is it like when you use masks, right? It's pretty much done. So when I removed it, I didn't, honestly, I didn't think that it was like anything like drastically life-changing. So I was like, okay, now it's one of those masks. Now. And then I went to sleep. The next day I woke up, I was like, what the? I looked at my pimple and I was like, eh, like, is it me? Like, it's, it got smaller. And then after that, subsequently, it um sort of, yeah, calm down quite a fair bit. Mm. And then it dries up and then it was like gone. I didn't have to go to my derm and get a jab, which is usually what I do if I get a pimple. Um, yeah, so this one was a bit of a surprise. So you can see actually Dr. Jack actually did very well in terms of the packaging wise. Yeah. You can see the colour is actually in red. It means that there's actually some 
alert and you think on your skin already something emergency yeah. is coming up yeah. so it actually helps to clear up your acne mm. and you can you realize that you don't need, need to actually put very long right yeah. for this particular yeah. mask because it actually has this drying agent oh. that actually helps to clear up your acne okay. and that's why um, i'll recommend not to put um uh, the recommended uh, timing i would okay, say okay. because for hydrating mask you can put actually around 15 to 20 minutes okay. but if you realize for putting this clearing um, mask right mm. just need maybe 10 minutes yeah you can actually peel it off already yeah okay so now is my second mask that i like most mm. it's actually the circapem yay i think i keep talking about this product like i mentioned just now um i think out of all the six masks mm. um this is easily my favorite I mean, even though I chose, you know, the contacting mm. and ceramide, so I thought this one uh, is really multifunctional for me. La. Okay, how so? How um, multifunctional? I think, first of all, I think for oily skin, oh. and I get blush easily with like hot weather, okay. or maybe, you know, uh, after the, uh, you, know, you go after, under the sun for quite a while. Mm. So I thought that uh, for the longest time, right, I've never so called look at masks that. Uh, smooth uh, sensitive skin okay. or tame of any like you know after the sun sort of like situation so this is the very first mask I tried and mm. I thought that it does really well for two things one is really taming the skin mm. the other one I realised is actually oil control surprisingly oh. yeah so I mean for a guy it's always a T-zone yeah. so I, w I use a serum I use a serum before my sunblock so Chris, maybe share a little bit more because I think Sagapa is also one of the signature range yes. under Dr. Mm. Jart. Uh, I think like uh, Ceramide, it has a complete range of skincare as well, right? Yes, mm. it, it does have a complete uh, range of skincare that you can actually purchase. For mm. pair, we have the serum, we have the moisturizer. Mm. But like what you mentioned earlier, because you go under the sun quite a lot, mm. right? This will actually help to calm your skin a lot. Yeah. Because it has this special ingredient, we call it the Cantella Asiatica complex that is actually in this particular mask itself okay. that helps your skin to actually soothe okay. at the same time to also moisturize wow. so so that will actually help in both area like repairing your skin especially when you come back from a day of hot sun you know things like that mm. yeah and if you know tiger grass right mm. it's something it's an ingredient that actually helps to soothe our skin a lot okay yeah yeah even says here intensive calming care exactly like this little icon at the bottom so we have done our review for our four masks here. So mm. both of us, we have one common mask that we really, really like is the porecting mask, making sure that we don't read it wrongly. Just so we're wondering, is it porecting, porecting, porecting? So it's a porecting, <laughs> right? Porecting solution. Porecting, porecting solution. Like, like correcting like that. Yep. Okay, so Fiona, let me share why do you like porecting solution. <laughs> do you know, going through this journey of trying the mask, right, just proves to me one thing, right? In life, uh, if you do not try, you'll never know. Mm. That's one thing. So when I see this porecting, right, to me it's, Pause, right? And I look at my face, I'm very confident la, that I'm like, you know, I don't Paulus. really... Yeah, you're quite Paulus. Yeah, thank you! <laughs> you're seeing me for the first time! <laughs> this means a lot! So yeah, so I was like thinking, Kim, la, I think this one, hey, I just try long, you know, I don't mm -hmm. think this Paul thing is gonna work. La, huh? So then I was like putting it on, and then the next thing I know, I was like, I keep hearing something and I thought it was in my head. And then I went to the mirror, I was like, oh my god, so it started off like a, it's a charcoal mask, right? Mm. So it's like black, right? Mm. And then next thing you know, I had a lot of white bubbles on my face, which I'm going to ask why later. Mm. So mm. I was having a lot of white bubbles on my face. And then as I wipe them all, and then it keeps coming, and I keep hearing like... So I was like, okay lah, if anything, this is a fun mask, lah. Is that why for wrapping? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, huh? Okay, so anyway, so I was thinking, okay la, I mean, if it's not going to do much, at least I had fun with the mask. So after like maybe about 20, 15, 20 minutes, mm -hmm. so I went to the mirror and then I removed it. I literally exclaimed like, oh my god. I literally did a oh my god. And I'm not being dramatic here, okay? And I know sometimes I can be, but I was just like, oh my god, what the hell? You know, I look into the mirror and I literally thought that there was a filter on my face, you know? So I took my specs, uh, just in case it's Lao Hua situation, right? Never see properly. I took my specs, I was like, eh, no leh. So I felt there was a, I don't know. So if I, if I imagine I'm really quite poreless, that filter effect is like, I don't know, it was very, very smooth, like the skin, it was just mm. like, 
perfect. Mm. So I suppose correcting works if you are treating anything that has got to do with tightening of your pores, I think you would find that filter effect really up your alley, which is why I give this like this is really my favorite. Like, I think when I use this right, I was just like, okay, la, the rest uh, I'm just gonna easy easy try. <laughs> but no, but this is this is this is really my favorite. Yeah. Mm. So that's for me. Yeah. yeah you? I really like this as well. Mm. I think um I'm not too sure whether um the audience have tried other uh, bubble foaming masks or... Um, this is my first time though. This is your first time. Uh, okay. I mean, I've tried other bubble foaming uh, okay. masks, but this one to me probably uh, foams the most. <laughs> That's one thing. Um, the effect, the clarity, yeah. I like it as well. Mm. Um, I think to a certain extent, right, when using masks, right, it's also the process of it. I find the process of this mask is quite fun. Therapeutic, right? Yeah, it really feels like, oh, something is coming out. Yeah. I mean, sorry, something dirty is like moving from your face. <laughs> is, this, is this why it's bubbling? Okay, okay, Chris, you tell us. Yeah, tell um, us what is, what's going what's on with this What's with mask? that bubbling Because if you, real, if you realize, right, only this particular mask in Dr. Jai is actually charcoal, yeah. mm. right? And then it actually foams up. Yeah. So it's, it feels like you're actually um, clearing your pores so at the that, same time tightening your pores. So you are clearing all the dirt mm. that's inside, trapped inside your pores. Wait, wait, wait. So that means the more bubbles, <laughs> the more dirt you have? Actually, I don't assume associate to that. Okay. But the more you actually rub the mask, oh. it actually foams up more. I see. So when you put on the mask, right, and then you start to, you know, tickling or, or you mm. touch it, right, it actually helps to have more bubble. Oh my god, I was having so much fun with this. I was literally exactly. like doing back actually, and forth. I don't know whether you noticed, <laughs> yeah. right, the mask the shit mask, right? The texture is a bit different. Eh? It's a bit cushiony. I don't know if you felt that. Like, you know, regular mask, right? It's just one shit. Yeah, yeah. This one, this one you, has got like two. It feels like yeah, a yeah. cotton pad. Slightly thicker. Yeah. Slightly thicker. And, okay, this one is my fault when I was using it. So, Did you, you know, peel it off? My, Did you peel my it off? My self, right? After finish, I just like peel yeah. off, right? Mm. Then I was like, peel off, then I was reading it. Before peel off, you should like gently rub, rub it. Yeah. For more bubbles. Yes. I miss out that step. Oh. Okay. Yeah, so I was like, oh shit, is that the most important step? Yeah. Is that the most important so step? So I, I think this particular mask actually helps to explore your skin oh. slightly. Okay. And that's why we call it the pore tightening and pore cleansing that mask, right? Yeah, so it helps. So when you remove, you find that it's like a filter. Yeah. It's because it actually helps to brighten up as well your skin. Oh. Because all your dirt inside your pores <laughs> <is> actually removed. <laughs> <laughs> and you look okay. a lot poreless after yes. that. Yeah. So, yes. so after you apply for 20 minutes, so you start rubbing the mask like that. Before you peel off. Oh, yeah, that was what I okay, did. Okay, okay. I didn't do that step. Yeah, I, I did that and I just thought like, okay, like, it's one of those like random things that you do to a mask to make yourself feel good, right? But I think it's really when I removed it, I was I was very shocked. I was really mm. very shocked Yeah, with this one, which is why um, it's actually going to be my probably my favourite mask out of all. Okay, so <laughs> Chris has given his point of view from an education manager. What's the best tip, right, to make use of the mask? Beauty and the gig must also share some tip lah. Okay. So Yen, would you like to share a tip? He's like, hmm, taken off guard. We talked about this earlier. But that's the whole point of the video. What is your one tip to share my with us when it comes the... to masking? My tip is a very auntie tip. <laughs> yes, your auntie tip. I think I know which one we talked about yeah. that before. But just in case you didn't want to we talk about it. I don't know whether people remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. You know, we always talk about not wasting a single drop. Yes. So I always have this habit. It's that after I finish using it, imagine this is a table, <laughs> tabletop, right? I will scrape everything using yeah. the tabletop. So I will, I will just hold my hand by the side. So the tabletop is here, right? Yeah. Now I will just like, oh, start pushing everything. Then my hand will hold everything. Yeah. yeah. So just to make sure that, you know, sometimes we just pour, right? Yeah. I can tell you, you will just have a lot of stuck serum around yes. the corner. So it's yes. so wasted. So that's my... What, what if there's no table? Then I will do this, ah. <laughs> yes. I was like roll 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 mm, yeah. yeah okay hello okay that's a good tip that's not an auntie tip actually that's a very very good tip so that you yeah. don't waste anything yeah yeah so how about you Fiona my tip right is um another auntie tip uh, <laughs> well yeah I think mine is even more auntie okay so I mean I'm just you know I open this up like that right so my tip is first of all with that sheet mask I will actually put it on my neck and then you know how it fits your face, right? Mm. Your forehead portion, right? I make sure it fits my lips huh? so that I also mask my lips. So you know, like your, your whole mask is like that, right? Yeah, yeah. And then I literally will bring it down and then the forehead oh. part will go onto my lip area and then I will wrap my neck. So this is where I will leave it there for maybe about like three to five minutes. So I also mm. mask my 
lips at the same time. So that's one tip. Okay. My second tip as well, actually, uh, you know, besides being auntie like that, paw, 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 right? There's still something all around the area, right? You know what I'll do? Fair open. <laughs> no. Okay, I tell you, lately, I'm obsessed with masking my legs. Huh? Okay, I don't know why. Like my feet, okay? I, I feel like it, it needs a bit of loving care. So I literally put, put your feet inside. Like, your feet yeah, are very small. Oh, it is lah. So, yeah, so it only works for me. Like this one, you can tell, it's very, very true. Okay. Yeah, so I will put my, 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 my like one foot inside Seriously? first and then I put the other foot inside and then it will like soak up the thing, right? The uh -huh. serum, right? And I'll just take it out and massage my feet, long. Wow. Uh, and I will do that with my hands also. So that's mm. also another way so that your hands and your feet will also get masked at the same time. So, <laughs> so I think it pretty much uh, pretty much mm. wraps up today's uh, episode and I'm so glad, Chris, you're here with us. I hope you had fun. I and um, I believe this is not the first and the last time we're going to see you. Yes. Uh, we welcome you back anytime. And uh, with that, I think that's it from us. Yes, we hope to see you in our ex <laughs> <laughs> next episode. Oh my God, what happened One. to me today? See and you soon, guys. Bye.